NASA proved that traveling into the future is real, and not just on paper, but in a real experiment measured by the most precise clocks on Earth. But what about going back? A journey so dangerous, Einstein himself believed we should never attempt. In this video, you'll discover scientific theories that not only suggest backward time travel could be possible, but hint that we may have already done it. And the signs are everywhere. In 2015, NASA unintentionally sent an astronaut into the future. Literally, the proof came through a simple but extraordinary experiment. NASA studied two identical twins, Scott Kelly, who spent a full year aboard the International Space Station orbiting Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, and Mark Kelly, who remained here on Earth. Now, the mission was designed to study how space changes human body. But hidden in the data was something much more interesting. After a full year, when Scott finally returned home, scientists noticed something strange. Time didn't pass for him the way it did for the rest of us. For Scott, it literally slowed down. Not by much, only about 2 milliseconds measured by atomic clocks, but enough to prove Einstein was right. Time really does move slower the faster you travel, which means if you could journey through space even at a fraction of the speed of light and return to Earth a year later, for you, one year would have passed. But back on Earth, entire decades would slip away. And that tiny two milliseconds difference pointed to a much bigger truth. Time travel isn't a fantasy. It's a scientific reality already happening around us. And if we can do that, then what's stopping us from crossing the line into the past? A line we were never meant to cross. You see, Einstein himself believed backward time travel wasn't just unlikely, but dangerous, perhaps even forbidden. And yet, hidden within Einstein's equations lies a strange solution, a possible path back through time. According to some scientists, Einstein's math shows a possible way to travel back in time through what's called a wormhole. Now, wormhole, or as we call it today, Einstein-Rosen bridge, is an idea that came directly out of Einstein's equations. A theoretical tunnel through space-time, connecting two distant regions of the universe. Now, imagine this piece of paper is our entire universe. To travel from one side to another would take us forever. But fold the paper and suddenly those points touch creating a shortcut not just through space, but perhaps through time. The problem is, even though these bridges exist in Einstein equations, we have never really observed them in the real world yet. However, some scientists believe that these bridges already exist, that they're built into the fabric of our universe. Others suggest that quantum entanglement itself is a kind of microscopic wormhole, proving the entire idea. And strangely, a group of scientists found evidence this might be true. In 2007, Israeli scientists found evidence that some particles may actually travel back and forth through time, changing their behavior based on events that haven't even happened yet. Now, they fired tiny particles of light, photons, through a machine that could send them down two different paths to observe how they behaved. Now, normally, if you don't measure photons, they act like wave, spreading out in many different directions at once. But the moment you observe them, they collapse into solid particles, taking one clear path. This is called wave-particle duality. Now, this time, the scientists tried something very different. 
They fired photons as usual, but only decided whether to measure them after the particles had already passed through the machine. Now logically, those photons should have behaved like waves at first, because no one was watching them. But here's the impossible part. The photons' behavior at the very start seemed to change depending on scientists' later decision, even before scientists themselves knew what that decision would be. It's as if the particles somehow looked into the future to see what scientists would do, then rewrote their past to match it. Now, it sounds impossible, but that's exactly what the data showed. And I can't help but wonder, if photons can travel back and forth through time, then maybe we can too. And maybe we already have. And the signs are everywhere. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt that something in your reality was just a little off? In recent years, millions of people have begun saying the same thing, that life itself feels different. We can't quite explain it. We can't point to exactly what changed, but it feels as if reality has shifted. Some remember entire events that never happened. Others say colors of the world don't look the way they once did. Less vibrant, almost as if someone quietly turns down the saturation of reality. And what's strange is these aren't just isolated accounts. All over the world, people confirm the same thought, that something about our world isn't the way it used to be. What if those strange, unexplained phenomena, deja vu, false memories, the Mandela effect, aren't just tricks of the mind, but subtle clues that something in our timeline has been altered? Or maybe our timeline wasn't altered at all, but replaced. Because every journey backward doesn't just change the past, it creates a new one a timeline split, branching from the very moment of return. You see, according to Einstein, going back in time could be extremely dangerous. We'd be tempering with forces far stronger and far less forgiving than anything we know. Just think about it. What if someone went back in time and prevented your parents from ever meeting? Your entire existence would vanish in an instant. And yet, what Einstein feared may already be unfolding. Because modern science suggests that our timeline might not be the only one that exists. You see, Stephen Hawking in his final work suggested that our universe may not be alone, but one of many. Which means there could be more than just one you, living in a different place, in a different time. And Hawking wasn't the only scientist to say it. String theory takes it further, proposing not just many, but countless universes, each with its own laws of physics. And quantum theory itself suggests something even stranger, that every decision we make create a different universe. This isn't just science fiction. Some of the best minds in science seriously consider that our universe might not be the only one, and that raises a very real question. What if all of this is the result of someone already going back into our time, and in doing so, creating the world we live in now? And how can you be so sure that when you opened your eyes this morning, it wasn't your first day in this timeline. Hi, and thank you so much for watching until the end. Now, my name's Jacob, and this is Beyond Meaning, where we explore the mysteries of existence one question at a time. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you might also enjoy this one next. I'll see you there.